we got to talk about with the Seahawks and Broncos game, the elephant in the room, pregame warmups, Russell Wilson comes in, and the Seattle Seahawks fans, like, boo the shit out of him. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You're booing Russell Wilson, the guy that brought you to a Super Bowl twice, was the leader of your team for the last decade, Hall of Famer, one of the best Seahawks players to ever do it, and you're going to boo him? Are you kidding me? That shit made me really mad. That shit pissed me off. And honestly, Seahawks fans, shame on you. Shame on you. Yeah, we got a real Karen over here going, oh, shame on you fans. I can't believe you would boo the player who almost lost you the game in Green Bay in the conference championship. And I don't oh, know. don't do the Turn almost. The don't do the almost oh, oh. shits with and me. Then, like the, oh, he almost lost the game yeah, for him. He almost lost. They didn't win because of Russell Wilson in that game. And that's clear. Aaron Rodgers and Russ both played some of the worst playoff games they've ever played in that game. And then the conference championship game against the Niners. I don't think of Russell Wilson winning that game. I think of the iconic Richard Sherman going, I'm the best corner in the game. I stuffed Michael Crabtree. Why would you throw it at me? I think of that iconic moment. I can't think of any iconic Russell Wilson moment in the playoffs besides, I don't know, a pick at the end zone to lose you a Super Bowl when they should have been running the ball anyways. And then... He wasn't the MVP, and I think of Percy Harvin returning the opening kickoff for a touchdown versus the Broncos, and it being an absolute annihilation because it was one of the most talented rosters in football. I'm not saying that Russell Wilson isn't a top 10 quarterback. I'm just saying when I think of Russ in Seattle's history, I don't see him as the reason they got to and won those Super Bowls. I see him a key part of it, and obviously his coach is annoyed with him. And none of the players from the Legion of Boom like him. Yeah, but at the same time, he still helps them make them bring them to the Super Bowl, and he still he still had like four thousand yards that year. So it's often it's like their offense was still moving really well. And the fact that at the end of the day, we're talking about ten years that you spent with the franchise. You you basically grew up with them. You see Russell Wilson go from a rookie all the way to being one of the best players in the league, and then. Honestly, the last four or five years in Seattle was horrible offensive lines, horrible run games. Their defense just getting worse and worse. Pete Carroll missing on more and more draft picks. I mean, you look at the Seahawks draft picks the last six, seven years. If you remove like the DKs of the world, honestly, it's like 90% duds. And these are like players that didn't do anything at all. So I think Russell Wilson is what kept them afloat and kept them as a consistent 10 win team. For the last decade, plus the Seahawks, outside of Russell Wilson's history, is one of the most pathetic franchises ever. 14 playoff appearances in 40 years outside of Russell Wilson. He makes nine playoff appearances with him. It's like, it's it's not so much, I can understand why you're upset that he left and everything, especially because it seems like he kind of forced his way out. But it was just a, it was a mutual thing. They They needed a reboot. And it was like, it's either they fire Pete Carroll and keep Russ, or... Both of them go or one of them goes and they just decided Russell Wilson because of all the dumb trades that Pete Carroll has made. So I think he still deserved to be applauded for all the shit that he's done throughout his decade in Seattle. I feel like you can applaud him after his career, but if I'm a fan, I applaud the spirit of the fan base. Like, we're not going to make you feel comfy at your home base and want to come home and be like, oh, yeah, they love me. I've come back. So I'm going to give them a show. and then. Beat them like, no, if you're coming back and you left, like, I'm over it. It's time to boo you, get inside your head because I know you're fragile because you've come apart mentally at some points in the playoffs. And outside of Marshall and Lynch, that's really when the Seahawks start to get irrelevant. And sure, Russ got to the playoffs, but without the Legion of Boom and Marshall and Lynch, Russ. Russell Wilson really didn't do any more than Dak Prescott. And I don't think Dak Prescott's a career who should get a standing ovation. And if he had that Legion of Boom team, yeah, I think Dak could have done the same thing Russ did. So it's like, I feel like it's about the defense. You can boo Russell Wilson. It's fine to boo players when they come back, especially when they force their way out the way Russell Wilson did saying like, oh, I love it here. I want to be a Seahawk for life. Like, actually, I want to leave. Oh, everything's so great here. Actually, here are the teams I want to go to. Oh, I don't want to get traded, but I have a no trade clause. So don't send me anywhere. I don't want to go. It's like, I feel like the whole way he went about it. It wasn't great. Well, what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to say, I want to get the fuck out of here. This place is a zoo. Fuck off. 
Like, I don't know. I don't know what, he, I don't know. I don't think there's any win there that he could possibly do. 